Hey Scrappers. Alright, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about my gold recovery and refining videos. Just keep in mind that I'm a hobbyist. By no means am I an expert. Um, I'm learning a lot of this stuff as I go. Um, and I'm just sharing basically with you folks uh, what I learn, when I learn it, and you know how my experimentation is going. Uh, so make sure if you're going to do any of these things, which I really don't recommend, um, you know, do this safely. Make sure you have proper safety equipment. Um, you know, goggles, gloves, definitely gloves. Um, something to like a respirator or a face mask at the very least. Um, and do all these things in a very well ventilated area or outside. And that's about it. So keep watching. All right, so this is the last step in the gold recovery and refining process. Um, we're going to be precipitating the gold out of the auric chloride solution. Uh, this is a combination of uh, gold from uh, printer ink cartridge ribbons. We've got um, foils from gold fingers, and we've also have gold in there from uh, recovering from dinner plates and cups. So what you're going to need is your auric chloride solution. Um, and sodium metabisulfite or bonite stump out. Now, the solution can hold quite a bit. Um, this reaction is it's a, it's a very fast reaction. Uh, I'm not going to need a whole heck of a lot. There's a, a formula to figure it out, but when you're recovering from e waste and stuff, it's hard to tell exactly how much gold is going to be in there. Uh, so, it's best to just add the the meta, sodium metabisulfite and test the solution uh, when it starts to separate to see if there's still uh, gold in the solution with stannous chloride. Right, so I'm going to start off with a little bit of a spoonful here and this is going to be quick. It should start to turn dark. Alright, so it's been a couple of hours of let the um, reaction take place for the um, precipitation of the gold in the, uh, I don't know if you can see the solids on the bottom. That is gold. That's uh, hopefully, well, that's a good two or three grams. Um, the reason why it didn't change color quickly, um, I consulted, <laughs> uh, pretty much an expert in the field, uh, 10, uh, 10464 Jeff, check out his channel. Um, so I had way too much um, solution and too little gold in it for there to be you know, that much of a color change. So I'm going to um, heat this up and let some of it uh, evaporate off and um, go from there. So that's how you precipitate gold out of auric chloride. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Stop! Don't go anywhere. Leave a comment down here. I want to hear from you. I want to know if you think I'm doing something great. If you don't like what I'm doing. If I miss something, by all means, let me know. Write it right down here in the comments. All of my other viewers want to see what you have to say as well. The whole reason why I do this is to help share information so that we can all be on the same page. And, you know, knowledge is power. The more knowledge you have about these things, the more money you can make. So, we're all in this together. Go make some money. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe.